Hello everyone, it's Alina from Eximate Mastery with today's Tuesday Tech Tip. And what we're going to be discussing today is a question that I was asked in one of my groups, uh, and that is how to separate line items with removal and replace on two separate line items without having to go into every single line item and turn that on. So let's go take a look at how this works. I'll teach you a really simple and easy way to do this. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about first off here. So I've ran what's called a final draft with or without removal depreciation. So if you go in Xactimate and look in the print, this is the report type I'm using right here. And with this report type, that is common to most adjusters. 80%, 85 probably, use the final draft with or without removal depreciation. And I like my report to look pretty much apples for apples with what the adjuster is seeing every day. So when I look at a non-separated, that type of report, if you see here my number 25, I've got R&R &R exhaust cap. Um, up to four inch, and then number 26, I've got um, a larger size exhaust, exhaust cap here. Number 27, you've got R&R &R furnace vent. So the R&R, &R, of course, is the removal and the replacement of these line items. So when you look at your unit price, it's including the removal and the replacement. Not rocket science, correct? However, some adjusters have to run a separated report. So they have to separate the, the removal from the replacement on all of these line items to adhere to their company standards. And the other day I had someone question me, hey, can I do that on my report? So when he gets my report, he can see apples for apples what we're dealing with. I said, heck yeah, you can. What you can do is create what's called a separated report in Xactimate. So as you can see, we have 25A, remove, and there's the unit price. 25B, replace, and there's the unit price. And that's the way this adjuster was asking for the estimate to be sent to him. The other thing that this report type will do is create the 25A and 25B. If I were to go into Xactimate and separate out these line items in the way that you would think, um, just off the top of your head, you know, make one line item removal and then make the next line item replace, that's going to create two separate line items, right? So if I add this back in here as replace as a separate line item, you're going to see that it creates another separate line item number, correct? On the report that he was trying to recreate, you have a 25A and a 25B. So it's actually quite simple to get this report created. All you need to do is go up to your print screen. Yes, I'll resequence. And then we're going to select this checkbox here on the right. So under additional options header, you'll see display and items as two items. So if I go ahead and view that report here, and go down to that section where we were, uh, you can pretty much see it any section, like 32A, 32B here for a chimney flashing. That one checkbox will cause Xactimate to separate out your removal from your replacement costs. I know we see this with AmFam off the top of my head. Let me think. I think we saw some traveler's estimates that were written this way. So be on the lookout for this. And when you see a report that has the original statement of loss from the adjuster with this separated out, go ahead and run yours that way so you can preempt any uh, request from the adjuster to do this on your estimate. It'll already be done. So that's where you're going to find that is going to be in the estimate, in the print window, right there under additional options. My name is Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. If you have any questions like this that you would like me to answer, feel free to comment below. Also, if you like the video, go ahead and press the like button. If you would like to know more about XM8 Mastery and what we do, visit www.xm8mastery.com. And I hope you have a great week in your business, and I'll see you next week.